Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Stan's problems finally come to light, leaving the team struggling to help him in the episode Hard Knocks. On this week in Vice, we're taking a look back to when this episode of Miami Vice aired, from January 15th to January 21st, 1989, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on January 17th, a man opened fire on the schoolyard at Cleveland Elementary High School in Stockton, California, killing five children and injuring 30. The perpetrator fired 106 rounds into the school before turning the gun on himself. The racially motivated shooting using a semi-automatic firearm is unfortunately still an all-too-familiar event even now, 30 years later. In sports, in one of his final acts as president, Ronald Reagan pardons Yankees owner George Steinbrenner, stemming from his conviction during the Nixon presidency. In 1974, Steinbrenner was found guilty of making illegal campaign contributions and felony obstruction of justice. In January 1989, President Reagan officially pardoned Steinbrenner of his conviction, which is a nice break from the normally charming Yankees owner. Jackass. In music, goodbye, poison, let's get on to a much better song than Every Rose. Written and performed by Bobby Brown is the seven-time platinum album Don't Be Cruel is My Prerogative. The single is from Brown's second solo album after leaving the Mega Band New Edition and is easily one of his biggest hits. It would only hold the top spot for one week, but its legacy would endure regardless of Brown's offstage behavior. Brown would also help usher in the greatest era of R&B music in history. In movies, Rain Man holds the box office for a few more weeks so we go to the archive. I'd like to look ahead to early February as I won't have a chance to talk about this hidden classic since it won't reach number one over Three Fugitives in The Fly 2. Starring the legendary John Candy and Annie Potts is the classic Who's Harry Crumb. The Pink Panther-esque comedy is John Candy at his best, an example of what the 80s got right about movies. Sometimes we don't need to make a statement or blow up a city. Sometimes we just need to have fun at the movies. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.